Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Art of Ontario, my name is Brittany and I just wanted to say before we started with the whole Coffee and Collective here, um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to every single one of you that have donated and wished me a happy birthday. Like the, the amazing outpour of love just <laughs> makes this Taurus feel incredibly overwhelmingly loved and uh, I... <laughs> You all are so kind and so warm and loving, and I I appreciate every single one of you, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just thought I'd want to come on here and give, like, a proper thank you, all right? So uh, without further ado, we're going to get into the Coffee and Collective because we need to talk about this eclipse happening. Um, also, the retrogrades got this Taurus Mercury. Um <laughs> My my words might not come out as, as I want them to, so please, please bear with me. If you you, you can't handle it, I I don't blame you, because <laughs> sometimes I don't even understand me either. So, um, but yeah. With that being said, we're gonna switch over to the table here. Woo. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna get into the coffee and collective. So take the time to pause, maybe get yourself your own coffee, tea, water. Get your water. That's important. So, um, yeah. And we will, we'll do that. All right. So like I said, grab your coffee. Mine's almost done, but you know what? It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll be working on a second cup, but I also have my water off to the side. So, um, <laughs> yeah, here, cheers. We're going to cheers. And, uh, let's get into it, everybody. Okay. So I want to say beforehand, I felt some really, really overwhelming energy and it's, I don't, I felt really overwhelmed. Like I was running out of time, but I had nowhere to be. And like, I can do this whenever I want to, like, it, it, there's no time frame. I could, I could start this up at three o'clock in the morning, if you know what I mean. Right. Like, it's not, it's not a big issue. Like it, uh, there's no time frame really, but it's. I feel like I'm late for something. I just saw 222 on the camera timer. You could be seeing 222 a lot, but that's that's alignment. And lunar eclipses, have, like we, that's realignment. We'll be realigning with something, like our purpose or something. I, I don't know if everybody's been feeling like this tense energy, like we're missing out. Um, or like it's just not coming together or like we're not good enough. I just want to say you are good enough and... Oh, my god can this deck just oh my lanta i <laughs> see like <laughs> i'm getting flustered for no reason zero reason at all mm -hmm. so let's let's just see we're gonna i'm gonna reshuffle this <laughs> i got some new decks for uh for my birthday so and I like that they're the pocket ones because your girl has small hands and with these nails, uh, the bigger cards. Oh my lanta, can we just, thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> these cards have been sassing me. <laughs> they're like, girl, girl, wh where have you been? <laughs> it's like, listen, I, you know, why are you so obsessed with me? Anyways, um, <laughs> sorry. Let's see. Spirit, what do you have to say? What what's the theme for this lunar eclipse in Scorpio? Like what how's the collective feeling? What are the themes? Ooh. Okay, well. <laughs> Scorpio is ruled by Mars, first and foremost. Um, along with um Aries, too. So attraction, hot, yike, things are gonna get fiery. Um, you could be in the middle of a glow up too. Like I feel like Everywhere I went this past weekend, everybody was just walking different, glowing different. I don't know if it was because I was in a different city. Um, <laughs> I went to Calgary, by the way. I'm, I live in Alberta. So um, I went to Calgary. I don't, I don't live there. Um, live a few, very few, <laughs> several hours away. But um, went there and like the vibe was just different. Like people were walking different, moving different, like the energy was just different and like like I said maybe it's because I, I was in a different city but like I noticed it collectively even um I went to like uh, the Calgary Expo and um I don't know like I didn't normally crowds bother me 
but this one was different it was more of just like a no nobody's out to get you nobody's out to you know it felt safe and I don't know <laughs> it was my first um fan expo so I don't know if that's the overall vibe there anyways it's more of like a I don't know <laughs> it was just different it was so much different I didn't get like the daggering gut feelings like yes it was very claustrophobic there were a lot of people touching me and somebody breathed down my back and I, that was when I said okay I'm out but it's not anybody's fault because we were packed in there like sardines but again I didn't feel anxious or like I needed to get out of there until like somebody breathed down my back <laughs> like literally um but yeah, no, I, I saw people like embracing themselves, like their inner, like everything, wearing things that made them happy. 555 five, five on the camera timer. Um, I saw some amazing skin. I saw some like, it, you know, people were glowing up. Like I, I, I may not have ever seen these people before, but their auras were different. It was like, I'm embracing who I am. I'm embracing what I'm here to do kind of thing and even outside of the expo even just like walking around downtown or even other places it was like the vibe was entirely different everything's shifting everything's moving different what do we got here receive open people are getting more open to things like i don't know maybe it's the maybe it's the weather like we're feeling good um present abundant gratitude yes <sighs> this is amazing what else do you have what else do you have and we have avoidance stalemate okay so yes you may feel like very stuck right now but this energy is going to be propelling us to where we're supposed to be like this is realignment we are definitely pushing through with the present abundant gratitude um People have been living in an attitude of gravi gratitude lately, like, and actually incorporating it into their daily life. Like I said, if you're, if you're new to the channel, um, I, I do, uh, say at least five things every morning when I wake up that I'm grateful for out loud, it, at least five things. You can go throughout the day and keep saying them if you, and tell the people you're grateful for them too. Like tell anybody you can that you're grateful for them. I promise you it changes things. Um, living in an attitude of gratitude definitely tells the universe that you are grateful for what you have been blessed with and then you know they can bless you some more because they see that you are not taking it for granted that you weren't just not <sighs> squandering it you know um you're open to receiving you've been giving 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 and for what you you need to receive too everybody's getting into their receptive energy the and going into like the equal give and take like of course it's not going to be like oh, okay I'm just going to be receiving now and that's it no 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 it's it's equality 818 on the camera timer um ooh, we have reunion and soul ties so I mean uh, how do I put this um, we're still in retrograde until like mid-May here and then shadow period goes until like the, I believe the 1st of June. With this full moon energy, there could be a lot of uh, exes reaching out or not even exes like uh, past flings, things that never got off the ground, uh, soul um, soulmates or twin flames because there's there's things happening like there's reunions happening it's not all bad you don't even have to like I would take it with a grain of salt when it comes to the mercury retrograde when somebody's coming back because most times when mercury retrograde ends they leave they disappear so I would take that with a grain of salt but if if you are willing to hear them out and you can decide for yourself if it if you want to entertain this at all or not okay what have you learned from this kind of deal okay so what else what else do you got for us spirit what else uh messages dreams you could be having some intense dreams especially with this lunar eclipse because depending on where you have scorpio in your chart um it, it can mess with you um you could be receiving some strong, strong intuitive messages in your dreams, even if you're new to this intuitive stuff. Um, it's, I got, I get most of my messages from my dreams. Um, even the name for my channel or divine came to me in a dream. 
and I never would have put those together. There's divine aura everywhere, right? But aura divine, right? Like that's, <laughs> and it worked out. It ended up working out. And then for coffee and collective, like that's, I searched, there was nothing. So we're doing the thing. Yeah, we're moving away from lack and doubts. We're moving away from this five of cups energy. We are leaving this. We're focusing on the two cups that we do have. What what we're grateful for. Like, what do you have? Do you have the roof over your head? Um, food in your fridge. A great support system. Like, support group of people you love and trust and who love and care about you for who you are. And don't impose anything on you. And don't ask, you know, don't abuse you or... Um, I want to say, um, take advantage of you. We're moving away from that stuff and we are definitely moving forward. This is, this, like I said, this is redirection and realignment energy. Whatever is falling away this time around, um, just pay attention to the energies and like what's leaving your life because that's going to show you what no, what no longer serves you if you haven't already cut out and like or like figured it out and cut it out. I just saw 1111 on the camera timer, by the way. Um, change, courage. Look at this lady. She's moving. She's I don't know if people are just like packing up and leaving and just changing their life. Like seriously, like if you get if you feel called to move, do it. If you get a start looking on Indeed or like jobs sites and whatnot <laughs> in a place you would like to live like go just take check it out this could be the the universe or your spirit guide saying change is good if you, we're we're helping you we're we're always here we're supporting you we are behind your back like I feel like your angels your angels are kind of trying to <laughs> trying to help you see the bigger picture and going like okay listen you need to leave this environment in order to grow and change and heal so I feel like if you're moving on from stuff you don't be afraid to pack those bags and just go just go but you know just I do want to say uh, think before you leap sometimes okay like uh, do, make sure you're covered on on your bases like uh, do you have a job lined up like a, a place to live Twelve twenty two on the camera timer um ego vanity and pride yeah people are like ego deaths here a lot of ego deaths we have uh pisces cancer scorpio yes of course like uh, water sign energy like it's happening in scorpio that oh my gosh uh party external okay so yeah, you're going to be living it up. You're going to be out and about. You're going to be moving different, glowing different. Like I said, you're going to be embracing just being out and about. Even if you don't like spend any any money, just you can, you can go dance for free, right? Go dance in the park or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's the vibes are going to be different. There's going to be a lot of people standing in their power and it's all going to they, they're not even going to there's going to be a lot of people who won't understand what's happening but are going to be inclined to do so anyways like are going to make the moves anyways even if they're not spiritual people are going to be moving and glowing different um twin flame so we got the uh the union one right on the back of the deck beforehand let's see what we got here okay guarded vulnerability There's a lot of strength in vulnerability. And I feel like, of course, with Scorpio, Scorpio's transformation. Scorpio is rising from the ashes like the phoenix, like being like ego death and then rebirth. Um, in um, in the traditional Rider Waite, uh, in the world and in the, uh, the Wheel of Fortune, Scorpio is represented by the phoenix, I believe. I'm pretty sure because that's transformation. And yeah, it it I felt called to say it, there's a lot of strength in vulnerability. There's a lot of willpower in that to be vulnerable. And I, there's a lot of people that are learning that it's okay to be vulnerable and it is not a weakness. You just have to learn how to protect it and not overshare. Um, just keep that in mind, I do want to say. Okay, so we're going to get into the tea leaves this is this is wild i i <laughs> i couldn't help but notice it like when when i was traveling that the energy is just shifted like completely 
I, and like I said, I don't know if it's the weather. It was fairly beautiful, but, um, I don't know. Like people were standing their ground a lot more. Boundaries are becoming more of a thing. Like people are standing up for themselves and cutting out the bullshit. And I love that. I love that so much. Okay. So what do we got tea leaves for the collective? What do the collective people? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is, um, one second, one second. Whew. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get that. Oops. Let's see what we got. What else do my collective people need to see? Ooh, okay. We're gonna keep that and that. Okay, so on the back of the... Oh my gosh, okay. So, <laughs> people have been doing the work and with this realignment energy, like, it's, it's coming together. Also, I do want to say... Um, Along with this Taurus Mercury retrograde, once this is over, Jupiter goes into Taurus. And then that house that you've been, that you have Taurus in that's been kind of making you rethink a lot of things, making you um, kind of pause and reflect, that's going to be getting an extra boot, like oomph of good luck, oomph of like abundance, like Jupiter expands wherever it is, right? So I want to say like, check it if you don't know what um, about birth charts, it's a quick Google search if you would like to. Uh, you do have to know where you were born, um, your birthday, of course, and uh, your birth time for those that are don't already know. But for those that do, um, look for where Taurus is in your chart. And this will be more of an indicator of where this is affecting you and where Scorpio is as well. And what what uh, transits are happening. Anyways, back back to where we are. <laughs> Ring. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. So this is going to be um, for boss babe energy, boss, boss man, boss person, <laughs> just boss. Um, but this is also like a lot of twin flames that people have been, like I said, people have been doing the work and that ego death has been a, a parent. Okay. Like, like I said, I noticed it. People weren't living in their egos. And it was weird. It was really weird to see. But I'm actually really happy because, like I said, there's a lot of strength and vulnerability. And people definitely are learning that. And learning that their boundaries and that no is a complete answer. Okay? You can literally tell somebody with peace and love to kindly F off if they cannot take that. Okay? And if they're going to, they're like, they're <laughs> if they're going to try and whine and try to manipulate you it's just like no we're not doing this not doing this at all uh-uh zero out of ten would not recommend uh <laughs> we have the moon changes in your life yeah some big major changes people are moving people are like either physically or mentally it's it, this is an amazing shift it, it was a nice change to see in people oh we have may well uh, hello it is may <laughs> it's gonna be may <laughs> um we have mountain road you are on the road to success yes you have been doing the work and honest i think you with the collective here we're all people are waking up people are waking the f up and it's it's scary for some and for the rest of us that have that are not new to this we're pretty much paving the way for people we're showing people how it's done even if you don't even talk to people people are noticing how you are moving and walking and glowing different and they're like damn I can do that too look how strong this person is like I was about to say pile one <laughs> um but seriously people are taking notice and they're learning that their old ways of thinking or and acting and trying to manipulate people just doesn't work anymore and I, I, I we did it <laughs> we're doing it we're doing the damn thing okay like the, ah boot increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals so this is spirit saying keep up the good work just keep going keep pushing through i promise it'll be worth it you just have to keep going some things for, aren't ready for you yet but it will be soon just keep going keep doing it day by day in and day out you have to keep the consistency even if like you don't have to give a hundred percent every day i just want to say that 
you don't have to give 100% every day, just even doing your best, just getting by each day, that's still doing the damn thing. And I'm so proud of you for doing that. It is so hard. Trust, your girl goes through that too. But it's like, when you look at the bigger picture, you know exactly where you want to be and how you're going to get there. Sometimes you don't know how. You just you feel it. You feel it in your gut. You're like, no, I have faith that this is going to work out. And it does, you know, and, and, and if it doesn't, it wasn't meant for you. Redirection, realignment. I love this. 2022 on the camera timer. There's a lot of twos happening. Like we are, we are realigning. We are going to be in alignment. Uh, lion, time to act. Yeah. Time to act on whatever it is you want to go for. Because if <laughs> you're gonna let your life pass you by if you don't act from things like maybe it's not maybe you have strong leo placements um or like aries i do want to say aries is like a super go-getter or even all the cardinal signs to be fully honest i know leo's not um cardinal aries libra cancer capricorn go-getters the go-getters and then Leo is a fixed sign. So, um, <laughs> but Leos are bold and go after things too. Like, it, <laughs> if you aren't out there in extra, how are you going to be eye catching and how are people going to know, right? <laughs> Um, anyways, kangaroo, unsettled times need to plan ahead. I only felt uh, called to say what I said before there. Um, somebody needed to hear that. I, I felt called to say it. But um, carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. Yeah, traveling. You might be moving. You might just like, just you're like, no, I need to leave this environment because I simply cannot prosper here. And you know what? Um, I'm channeling a song right now. Um, Small town boy. Um, the answers you seek will never be found at home. That's a line in the in the song. And it's a it's a good song. It's from the 80s. But uh, it still still slaps to this day. Um, but yeah, you have to leave the environments that you grew up in, because how are you going to going to learn if you don't leave? You need different perspectives other than the same ones over and over again. Um, you can't heal in the same place that hurts you as well. OK, I just want to say that. Uh, funnel period of frustration lessons to be learned yes this is going to be some raw energy with this eclipse it's realignment there's going to be a lot of tower moments this is crazy 22 22 on the camera timer holy uh <laughs> oh my god um fire strong emotion passionate love or hate there's going to be a lot of tense energy so i would tread lightly and i wouldn't I mean, you do what you need to. Um, I'm staying out of it. it. It's not my life. But when it comes to uh, getting into heated arguments, getting into, uh, you know, like altercations, it's more of a pick your battles kind of thing, right? Is is this worth my, my peace? Is this going to cost me my peace? Keep that in mind. But this is also passion, passionate love as well. So, it could be a lot, a lot of, a lot of, uh, well, it is a lot of Mars energy happening. So take that how you will. Oh, uh, you do have egg success assured with good plans and hard work. You were doing the work. Look at that golden egg. Like you were going to have like a nest egg. <laughs> yeah. A nest egg. Like you might be putting a lot of money away. You want to travel. You want to do all these things and you're working hard for it. You got to work hard and you got to play hard. And I think you're learning that balance. Everybody is. This is amazing. Um, we have handshake a meeting with a stranger could be important. So yeah, don't be afraid to go out and have fun and like meet people. Okay, we some of us have been stuck in pandemic mode long after like the restrictions were lifted and we don't know how to be anymore. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's for everyone, but for most of us, that's been the the issue, right? Fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair could just be someone within their feminine energy. Doesn't have to biologically be female, but could be the secret, the not the secret handshake. Yeah, you're going to be part of the best friend club right away. You could be. Okay, uh, she fell on the floor, but she's in there. Uh, oh, my, oh my god. I'm just dropping everything. <laughs> Can this retrograde just stop? Like I, I, my tourist placements are in my tenth house. So, um, <laughs> seriously, where is this card? Okay, got it. Okay, 
A fair woman wanted to be on the ground. <laughs> Bear, danger, especially money matters. So, yes, do take the precautions to um, financially plan, you know, and uh, don't don't spring on things. Don't splurge right away. Uh, my tourist placements are screaming for stability right now. So, um, <laughs> it's just keep that in mind. Um, pay attention to your finances. We do have Tulip, great passion. Yes, you were going to be... You're going to be in a new era and it's going to, a lot of people from your past are not going to recognize you. And you know what? Good. Good. We're meant to change. If we stayed the same forever, holy, that'd be so boring. Ugh. <laughs> uh, you do have forest muddled, unclear thinking. Yeah. Especially with this retrograde energy along with this full, like, oh gosh, and it's a full moon. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. Yeah. No, um take some time out wait for things to to become clear don't jump on anything if you haven't thought it through properly i just want to say think before you leap we're not doing the whole fool energy leap of faith kind of thing plan things out and have backup plans uh this would be the time when you start asking your angels for help um this is what i want when you start writing down your goals maybe reevaluating your vision board um if you have one uh fly a period of ill health depression yeah um you we had that stuck that stagnant card here so avoidance stalemate that could be a factor i do want to mention that but it, i don't feel like it's going to be lingering for long once june comes we're going to be fine we're going to be thriving it, all of this stuff we're going to be thinking clearly we're going to be speaking clearly <laughs> things are going to be getting a little bit better um shield you need to defend yourself yes set those boundaries be firm and like like i said you might even have to move from a place because i said you can't heal in the same place that hurts you and the answers you seek will never be found at home so you need a better support system if you don't have a good group of people around you that are positive and actually care and love of you, love you for who you are and won't take advantage of you you know <clears throat> sorry i had to breathe uh we do have frying pan trouble accusations there's gonna be a lot you're gonna feel like you're you <laughs> you're gonna f there's gonna be a lot of tension yeah people are gonna be right pissed that you have been cutting them off people want access to all this energy and forces working against you yeah i would take some time out to really evaluate what you truly want to go for because um and like write out how you're going to get to those, uh, <laughs> how you're going to achieve those goals and what you want to do really. Sorry, I'm getting a download right now. Um, with the forces working against you, there could be um, people trying to either gaslight you or manipulate you or like uh even literally trying to keep you trapped so that they can still have control over you because uh you're you're you, you're vibing different you're moving different you're glowing different and a lot of people want that energy and they want to keep it for themselves and they don't want you to flourish and they don't they certainly don't want anyone else to see that you <laughs> you know to enjoy you to enjoy your aura and like uplifting others there's yeah this this would be a great time to just be like snip 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 cut out peace out walk away kind of thing <laughs> um seriously this is this is great energy though because we have been doing the work we have been setting our boundaries and being firm in them it is it's beautiful it's beautiful stunning gorgeous yeah it is gorgeous energy But you need to get out of your environment if that's what's keeping you stuck. Evaluate what's keeping you stuck and are, th are these accusations really warranted or is it just somebody's delusion? Somebody's control tactic, right? Um, let's see here. What do, you, what do we got here? Oops. What do we got? What do we got? We have Turtle Spirit, number 62, slow and steady wins the race. Yes. Okay. Like I said at the beginning of the reading, um, I got this overwhelming feeling like I am losing the race. I, I'm not going fast enough. Everything is slipping by me. I'm not finished. 
this is pretty much spirit saying, whoa, okay, Rome wasn't built in the day, okay? Take your time. You are absolutely on the right path. Like the mountain road, you are on the road to success. It, the road to, to success includes a lot of bumps, a lot of them, a lot of them. Um, and you can't have success without failure. And if you're failing, that's fine. You get to try again, hopefully, depending on what it is. <laughs> um, but the with this turtle spirit, it's like, okay, you can also enjoy life too. You can enjoy and it doesn't all have to be done right away here. You can you can take your time. This is the this is your angels also pretty much saying, "We've got it. We just have to make some moves here first for you. You just got to keep doing your thing. We're going to keep you in this slower energy for a little bit just so that you learn how to relax and not always focus on what you're doing. What's the next move? What am I doing next?" and just constantly turning the like, like that hamster on the wheel um and you're the hamster and that poor little hamster has been running 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 and just like no rest <clears throat> okay so we have giraffe spirit number 29 see the big picture yes yes <laughs> if you're having trouble um just think of like the overall goal you want to achieve and then I would do some research into what you should do next like for smaller goals try, try to make smaller goals that could help propel you towards the bigger goal make the steps easier if that makes sense uh we do have number six beaver spirit lay a solid foundation yes we're not having tower and we're not we're not having massive tower moments this time like we are i mean it could it really could depending on where scorpio and taurus is in your in your chart but with this being said you are building that solid foundation in yourself and you have been for a while and people are starting to notice and you're doing the thing on on your own you're doing a lot on your own you were you are becoming the person you're meant to be who doesn't take people's crap, who isn't going to be manipulated and can say no and mean it kind of vibe, you know? Uh, number 47, pig spirit, use your mind wisely. Yes, yes. Um, don't try to overwork yourself either. You can work hard, but you can also play hard too, okay? Whatever you, you want to do. If you just want to chill, relax your mind. Just, I know it's it's easier said than done to turn your brain off, but... This is telling me that mentally you're exhausted and it's time to give yourself a bit of a break. Like I said, Rome wasn't built in a day. This is slow down energy. We are slowing down. <laughs> I just heard, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stop overthinking when pigs fly. <laughs> yeah, Brittany. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Sorry. I, side note, I apologize. The air quality where I am right now. Uh, is not the greatest because of the fires happening. Um, I'm I'm in a place where I'm good, hopefully. Um, but uh, I'm definitely keeping all those that are going through that in my prayers and my thoughts. Um, I'm just hoping rain comes soon. But my my voice is very dry and it's very smoky out here, so um, my voice might crack in the middle of this. Anyways, back to this. Number 33, horse spirit. Freedom is yours. Yes, you have the freedom to do whatever the hell you want. Leave your hometown. Go make new new friends somewhere. Go uh, 33, 33 on the camera tiber. That's telling me collaboration. Like, that's telling me, like, oh, I'm thinking of, like, the three of cups. Like, it's time to go enjoy and relish in the fruits of your labor thus far. You know? You don't have to wait. And if you're saving up to, say, buy a house or something, just take some money out. If you have like a decent like amount saved, it's okay to dip in a little bit and be like, okay, don't make it a habit. Don't make it a habit. Danger, especially money matters. Don't make it a habit. But I want to say like, even if it's just a little bit here and there, or not here and there, but a little bit to just be like, okay, I want to go and have a night out. I want to have some drinks, go dance or whatever that is to you. Go walk in the park or do, I don't know, go do something. Go camping for a weekend. Go chill. Chill. It is okay to chill and enjoy your life because we, you, right now you are the youngest you will ever be again. I just want to remind you that. Okay. You are the youngest you will ever be again. And why not take, and life is short. We don't know how much time we have. We're all on different time, 
timelines and like it's just take the time to enjoy that's what this is all about take the time to enjoy uh number nine brown bear spirit take time out what was i saying and bears could be significant you maybe you are camping uh beware of bears uh they can be very scary but um <laughs> If you see a brown bear, this is your sign to chill out. Or if you if you're going camping, like I said, and you see one, it's like a confirmation, if you if you will, that you're in the right place. Okay, that's interesting. That is very, very interesting. Okay, so now I kind of want to get into the tarot here. So spirit. Okay. <laughs> hey spirit oh yeah no not making plans yet not <sighs> this is giving me um i'm not ready to go yet kind of vibe the three of wands reversed okay and that's also spirit saying uh hold tight hold tight before you before you leave Thirty five fifty five on the camera timer there are some changes happening for this to be able to be upright but right now it's a little unclear and you got the hold on there we go you got the star on the back of the deck here that's having faith in the future that's having hope that's <laughs> that's healing energy this is the star you were going to be like the main character in your own life again like you no one else is going to be taking that spotlight and anybody who has been trying or will try you you're going to be cutting them out you're going to be snip snip done adios love that love that okay what else spirit what else do you have to tell oh shit damn and fuck okay um okay i feel called to take the hermit and the empress and i'll keep those there oh okay so with this whole twin flame thing um <laughs> if you're new to my channel I it depends on the energy when I do readings if a twin flame one comes up it's more or less like it depends on the energy but most times twin flames are more of like a an excuse for toxicity like entertaining toxic and twin flames can actually show us what we don't need in this life like what what we're <laughs> do you really want to entertain this from this person and it's like uh no not from anybody don't treat me like crap like runner and chaser like ugh. but in some readings they've actually done the work and they're like hey i was a huge dickhead sorry for the cussing but um it's like sorry i was toxic and um i realize the error of my ways i don't want to lose you kind of thing there are times when that works out but with this whole energy the fact that <laughs> we got the twin flame stuff coming up in with the retrograde um and we also have the uh the full lunar eclipse happening in scorpio um <laughs> it, like i said lessons are going to be learned and we're coming out of hermit mode so ready or not, here I come kind of thing, right? But anyways, take it take it how you will, however it fits for you and don't make it fit. If you are not in a twin flame journey, you don't even, you can literally omit that. But with the Empress, it's funny. We had that receptive, open, receiving card and that's what the Empress is about. She's receiving everything that's good and she's cutting out, she's not going to accept what, what doesn't serve her. She's not going to be accepting any crap. And that's you, that's you and your energy. I absolutely feel that. You are going to be out and about. You're going to be thriving. You're going to be in the best energy. And people are going to be like, holy. But then we got the two of wands here. So this is exciting. This is, you literally have the world in your hands. You can do anything. Like the, the sky's the limit. You literally have to just reevaluate your goals what do you want to do do you want to travel do you want to do you want to vlog do you want to I literally tried vlogging this weekend I fell in love with it and I'm not normally like a personal life kind of person um but I have some footage from like uh when we were shopping and whatnot I was like oh my god <laughs> um it's not footage I can really use but um 
if y'all would like to see that, I I wouldn't mind being a vlogger, but I it's kind of, <laughs> it'd be hard for me to break out of my shell right away. But again, this is also for me too. Like this whole thing is like, you can do it. It's just, we're going to take some time here and you know. Yeah, so uh, if you would like to see vlogs from me, I could start another channel or another section of this channel. But um, yeah, anyways, <laughs> that's an idea. Like, do the things you've always pondered. Maybe streaming, maybe, you know, doing lives. I, I'm a girl that can sometimes do lives. I do have uh, quite the sailor's mouth. Um, <laughs> also, loose cannon. <laughs> cancelled just kidding not cancelled but um i do want to say with this six of cups reversed here it's not the right time to be reuniting with your twin flame i just want to say um but there's a lot of confusion and choice here so this is stemming back to what you want to do you have the, the world is in your hands and you have all the choice in the world just take some time to ponder and think about it make a pros and cons list start reevaluating. do you have to move for this venture what do you want to do um let's see oh you have the 10 of cups oh my gosh this is leading towards your happiness oh my gosh like people are people are going to be fulfilled af okay like <laughs> people are leaving people are breaking cycles people are oh, i love that I love that so much. Sorry. I just, <laughs> I'm excited. I'm starting to get giddy and I'm also starting to get overwhelmed too. So that could be the collective vibe here. I mean, this is coffee and collective. I should actually take a sip of coffee. Give me one second. I'll do it away from the mic. Oh, that is so much better. But seriously, we're all aligning with our higher purpose with our higher power we are aligning we are realigning we being redirected to where we're meant to be where we're supposed to be if we're stuck in a place that we are not supposed to be that's when the towers come in and we didn't get the tower in this so i like that so it's not i mean tower moments aren't always devastating but it's not always like a pleasant experience i want to say depending on what's falling away right um <clears throat> But this is more of like a, okay, no, you know what? I'm still going to do the damn thing and I'm going to keep going because my happiness, my ten of cups here, it's worth it for me. And underneath that, you do have the hanged man. So there's some stagnant, some stalemate energy. Like this, there's a, you need to take the time to properly think things through right now because it's, a, it's really muddled and unclear because of the retrograde. I'm thinking more so closer to like june things might start getting the momentum might start uh <laughs> gaining you know uh what was it what else was i gonna pull here oh yes yes let's get into these these okay so what do we got for the collective spirit what are you gonna tell them what advice do you have for the collective? First quarter moon in Leo, be humble. Yes, yes. Back to the attitude of gratitude. That'll that definitely humbles me. <laughs> um, but it, it feels good in, in a good way. Like not like oh I just got humbled by somebody. It's like no 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 no. It definitely makes you think and just like oh wow i do take a lot of things for granted um first quarter moon and cancer push through any insecurity yeah yeah you have what it takes you are more than good enough and where you're going you're not even going to care what people think because at the end of the day i just want to say people's opinion of you is absolutely none of your business and just like your opinions of other people are absolutely none of theirs and to be fully honest, everybody's going through something and you never know what's happening in somebody's life and why they're acting the way they are. Um, and those, it's just not an excuse to be treated like crap. I do want to say. So if somebody's treating you like crap and you're like, oh, but they don't, I don't know what they're going through. Listen, there's no excuse. You just, just leave. There, no fights, no, no weapons, no nothing. You can just like, okay, and just leave. 
that's it that's the vibe that's the vibe we are going towards i love this on the back of the deck you do have last quarter moon in scorpio reveal what needs to be seen so take that how you will i feel like you're going to be coming out you're going to be popping out you're going to be living your best life soon enough it's coming if you if you haven't already felt the vibes yet it is coming it is coming ah oh, this is amazing oh my lanta all right so what else oh that was quick interest oh oh okay so dog barking on the and climbing towards success ladder uh that's wild advice from a friend you could be getting some advice from a, a friend of yours or maybe a new friend an old friend um take it how you will that's that's insane to me i'm just gonna move that to the side here because the rest of them didn't want to come out, but these two wanted to be seen. The ladder, the climbing towards success, and the dog barking. So a dog could be significant too, I just want to say. A friend with a dog. Maybe somebody born in the year of the dog. Is that? Yeah, it is. Um, anyways, so I have these cards. <clears throat> Communication is key. Yeah, communicate exactly what you want to do. Like a, where you want to go. You can say it out loud. Um to like your angels the universe whatever or even like um communicating your boundaries that's another big one 45 55 on the camera timer that is wild um hold your vision yeah yeah don't don't lose sight of what's important to you and where you're going it's easy to lose that big picture and it's easy to lose sight of what truly matters to you but i think this is going to come easier there might be some temptation there might be some like um there might be some energies trying to say like oh that's not possible you can't do that and it's like watch me kind of energy a new start is coming yes yes oh my gosh work through your fears new moon in scorpio we have your hard work is paying off absolutely freaking lutely you've got this we're we're going towards greater things as a collective we are not taking the crap. We are, don't let your past hold you back. Yes, let go of that. I know it's easier said than done, but it's it's definitely worth it to just like move forward. Keep moving forward. Uh, end of a tough cycle approaches. Yes, it may be tough right now for you and you cannot see the light at the end of the tunnel. I promise you it's there. You were getting so much closer. You might be inching, but that's still an inch further than where you were. Okay, it's still progress. Baby steps or big strides. It's still progress. And it's not, it's going to be stop and go energy. But to be fully honest, it's part of the plan. I feel called to say that. It's 11.11 on my clock, by the way. So uh, big, big things are happening. People are realigning. Uh, meditate and contemplate. If you don't meditate already, um, or if you're new to my channel, um, there are free meditation videos on on YouTube that I use personally. They go through breath work. They go through just it's not it's more than just home. I mean, like if you feel called to do that, do it. But it's it's definitely worth it. Just pop in your earbuds or like headphones, whatever you need to do. Um, take five minutes out of your day if you can. Lock yourself in the bathroom. Just do it and just focus on your breath work. And honestly, the vibe just instantly changes. Like it, it's so nice and you can think clearly and you just, if you keep, keep this up and do this daily, your intuition, first of all, is going to be, uh, <laughs> it's going to be strengthening and you might hear ringing in your ears. Um, not like alarming ringing if you don't have a medical issue. Um, I want to say that it's more of like, um, spirit trying to communicate. You might feel more in tune with things, with your body, with your spirit, with other people's spirits, with other people's energies. Like this is truly spiritually awakening and we're, we're doing the work. You have done the work and I am proud of you. I'm, I'm yes, yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, um, honestly, I think that's everything I wanted to say here. Um, again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everybody who took their time the time out of their day to wish me a happy birthday and to those who donated. I truly appreciate you. I more than words could ever describe. Like I I I never expected this. And uh yeah. Anyways, <laughs> 
I sincerely hope you're having a great day or night whenever you were watching and um, I truly hope to see you soon and yes I will be continuing more on this and let me know if you would like to see like my vlogs and stuff like if I were to become a vlogger <laughs> like my life's kind of boring but like it would be cool to document some stuff but yeah anyways <laughs> I hope to see you soon all right bye Okay, um, also, I wanted to do a quick, quick shout out to um, Glass Angel Jewelry. Uh, they were the ones who were at the Calgary Expo. And uh, first of all, I found this Mew here. It's a uh, do Dolomite, but like a pink opalite. Uh, it's super cute. And it was so awesome. They are amazing. Their Instagram is amazing. Go check them out. They have some cute, cute stuff. Oh my gosh. And oh my God, they were <sighs> the cosplay they were wearing. Oh my gosh. So cute. It's just a whole vibe. And like, I, I need to shout them out. So like Glass Angel Jewelry. I will also have their link down below as well. And just for me saying that it was my birthday, they gave me a free stone, a free Jasper heart, and that was so kind. I thank you so much, Erica. You are amazing. I love your shop. Um, but yeah, anyways, <laughs> I I don't have a promo code. Um, I just wanted to shout them out because they were cute, they were so nice, and they have beautiful things. So uh yeah, I will link that down below for you glass angel jewelry over on etsy and on instagram okay all right <laughs> bye